Now, Bradley Theodore is a New York-based artist whose colourful skeletal works have been causing a stir stateside and who's now ready to show them in the UK. His work is part of the launch exhibition at the Maddox Gallery in Mayfair and he's here now. Bradley, how is it to be in London? Good, good, it's wonderful. London is that city that makes you feel grown up, you know? Well, I'm glad, I'm glad, to, I'm glad to feel it, uh, to hear that as well. Now, one of the things, um, I, I sort of talked about these skeletal interesting works, one of the pictures I want to talk about straight off, because you know, you're, new, you're here in London, but you've already been getting in touch with British culture. You've done a, pic, a portrait of the Queen. Yeah, yeah. Uh, tell me about the thinking behind this, really striking piece. Yeah, that's a really, really deep piece. Um, the first painting I ever tried to paint was a, a painting of the Queen. And that turned out horribly. So a year later, I attempted it again. And then I looked at, you know, the whole concept of Queen Elizabeth and how she is like what we would call one of the last just true monarchs. You know what I mean? She, you know, for the fact that during World War II, like she actually served as a nurse. I mean, anyone knows that wartime nursing is one of the most, you know, very, very, you know, it's a very strenuous thing. I mean, you have guys coming in, limbs cut off, you know, people crushing your hand about when they're about to die. So it's like an emotional, deep emotional thing that's ingrained within your body, you know? So um, for that piece, it, it just me it just gives that spirit where, you know, in an end of the day, at the end of the day, this is someone that just will always be there. Now I'm putting out the colors, you obviously got, in that picture in particular, you've got a very bold red yeah. background, but where are the colors coming from for the person? Are you, are you taking their emotions, are you taking your perception of them to build up that sort of um, collage type effect of their face? I think I do a lot of research and, and I kind of try to dive into that world, you know. For example, with um, the Marie, Ant Marie Antoinette one, I really just think about the whole concept of those festive decadent colors where they're so like, they're, they're a form of addiction. You're addicted to this color, this decorative lifestyle, beauty, and beauty to, to the extent where it just like surrounds you, you know? Where it could be like, it can go either way, you know? It could be like too much, or it could be just like, I need more. And that's where like the colors come from. And also like, trying to think the mindset of a person, like each time a person is thinking something or experience something, that experience in itself is ingrained into that individual, you know? For example, that you may have a friend that's very, like in terms of his psyche, very dark and very yeah. desolate, you know? And when you see him, you just see that there's a kind of a dark color towards him. And then you may have somebody that you know that's like, just happy all the time. A guy could get hit by a car and he's just happy. Hey, how you doing? <laughs> I just got hit by a car, but I'm still happy, you know? So these things are like kind of like what kind of I try to pull out in my paintings. Uh, now, has, has London inspired you? The, the London, uh, coming to the London art scene here, are you gonna, that gonna impact your work? Do you think we're gonna see some more London inspired works from you? Yeah, I think so, I think so. London is, I mean, just driving in from the airport, You'd see, I would see, uh, I think I was going by Hyde Park and I see the, uh, the war memorials and the sculptures and I mean just a different type of artist that had, uh, had you know, their work has, has been ingrained in them, you know. I mean, it's just wonderful. Um, I do like uh, Bacon, Francis Bacon, he's actually one of the persons <laughs> yeah. that, one of the artists that I really respect yeah. in terms of his attitude, you know, he just didn't care, you know. Absolutely. I can definitely see some Baconic influences yeah. there. Uh, Bradley Theodore, so nice of you to come in and talk to us. Thank you so much. And if you want to see his work, those striking pictures, that's on at the Maddox Gallery in Mayfair from right now. It's just opened.